Hey guys, Luke HD here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing raids slash ruptures inside of Tales of Tenorio. More specifically, how to efficiently hunt the new Drippo reskin. In this video, we're going to be talking about shiny odds and a whole bunch more. If you guys do enjoy this video, go to the like, subscribe, and let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so what on earth are ruptures? Well, ruptures are something that you can unlock after beating the second gym inside of Tales of Tenorio. And ruptures are essentially just little cracks in the ground like this. This right here. Ruptures can come in a bunch of different colors. Red is a one star rupture, yellow is a two star rupture, and green is a three star rupture. The three star, two star, one star, all of that stuff, that is just the difficulty. The higher the star counts, the harder it actually is, and the more rewards that you get based on, again, how hard the raid actually is. The type of ruptures you're going to want to be looking for in this video are going to be the rainbow ruptures or the seven star ones. These are going to appear in the chat with a pink name, usually ruptures that our regular ruptures appear as yellow, however event ruptures are going to have a pink name. Fighting in a 7 star rupture is not going to be easy, and it is very crucial that you actually bring a group of people. Not only because bringing a group of people, you know, obviously is going to make it get down easier, however, there is an actual statistical advantage to having more people, and that is going to be with the shiny raids. If you play with 1 to 3 people, so if you play by yourself, or with 2 other people, your chances at finding a shiny Drippo out of the raid is going to be a 1 in 512. If you have a team of 4 people, however, which is the max amount of people you can have for that raid, your chances are actually a 1 in 200. Now, Drippo, as soon as you get into the raid, is not going to immediately be shiny. You are not going to know that your Drippo is shiny until you have defeated it and caught it and it gets sent to your PC. And then, and only then, will you finally see that it it is shiny. So right here, I've caught in one Drippo right here. And obviously, as soon as I get done with the raid, it gets transferred to my PC box. And right here is when I would be able to tell if it's shiny or not. What does the shiny look like? Well, this is what the shiny looks like. I'll put it up on screen right now. It's kind of like this nice orange slash yellowy kind of color. It's a pretty cool shiny in my personal opinion, but there is some interesting things to note about these raids. Whenever you actually defeat the Drippo and you start to catch it, whoever the host of the raid is, basically the first person in that raid, the Drippo kind of stats in the Drippo, like, you know, OT and ID is going to be spread across everybody else's Drippo. I asked Topi about this. He said it's an intentional feature, okay? But basically, again, let's say I go into a raid and you have three other people, right? If they all catch their Drippo as well, then basically their Drippos are just going to have my name and my ID on it. Again, why that happens, Topi has said it was a completely intentional feature. You can talk to him about that. What doesn't save across, obviously, all of the Drippos, however, is, again, the Shiny. And the Shiny is going to be, like I said, if you're playing with 1 to 3 people, it is a 1 in 512 chance for everybody. Again, as soon as you catch the Drippo and it goes to your PC box, you open it up, 1 in 512 chance for it to be Shiny. If you're playing with 4 people, then it is going to be a 1 in 200 chance. And again, that goes for everybody in that raid. So it really does help to really just squad up and actually take down these Drippo raids together. Now, what would I recommend for actually taking down the Drippo raids? Well, the very kind of common, uh, you know, used Tenorian right now is Dynastogen. Dynastogen has some really, really strong bug type moves, and again, the Drippo is a water grass type, so it is weak to those moves, as well as flying type moves. So again, as long as you just use some flying types or some really strong bug types, you are going to be able to take this down with four people with just no problem. Something else to keep in mind, you are also going to be getting some rewards for beating these Drippo raids. A pretty big and good reward from beating these Drippo raids is going to be incenses. You can get incenses and conservation incenses from actually beating the Drippo raids. It's a free-to-play way of actually getting this, you know, item, considering the fact that you have to pay Robux for it normally. But again, do some raids if you want a good shot at getting these incenses. They're pretty uncommon slash rare, so again... You're not going to get them every single time, but again, with 7 star raids, they are more likely. I would also really recommend using private servers for this. Anytime that you join into a public server, you don't know where the raids are going to be and stuff, and you're just basically going to have to go throughout the entire game, route to route, and look for the raids. However, if you go into a private server and you wait about like 10 minutes, the raids are all going to start spawning into the game, and again, you're going to actually have just a fresh batch versus if you went into a public server. It also helps if you're inside 
of a private server because you can sit there and go into something like the Tales of Scenario Discord server and send a private link out, you know, to people asking, hey, can you help me with this? And people are going to come to your aid because everybody is really wanting to get the shiny of this Drippo, you know what I mean? So again, really, really, really big tip, use private servers. They are going to be your best friend. They're also free, so there's no reason not to just go and use them. Anyways, that is about it for this video. If you have any questions down in the comments below, put them down there. I'll try to answer them in the best of, uh, you know, to the best of my knowledge and best of my ability. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Happy hunting, obviously. And yeah, let me know if you get a shiny Drippo down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.